I updated my Lightroom Classic and it came with new features that I'm in love with. They have made my workflow so much faster. They've made me edit pictures more and they're helping me edit my pictures better. And that's the subject selection and the sky selection and the masking and the layers. So I'm gonna show you how to use them and also how I use them to make my photos better. So I'm gonna start with this picture of a hummingbird and I'm in the develop module and you go to this little circle here, click it and click select subject. And now you can see that the bird is selected. What I'm gonna do is click on this layer and next to subject, I'm gonna click the ellipses and invert. And now the opposite is selected. It's that green part that's all noisy and nasty and I don't want that. So I go to my noise slider and I'm just gonna bump it all the way up. And look, it's like magic, it's completely gone. Let me zoom in so you can see. So this is with the noise re reduction without, with, without. It's incredible. Now I'm going to just play with other aspects of the background to make my photo better. So the noise is gone. I'm gonna bump down the exposure to make my subject pop. I'm going to change the color a little bit. Let's see. To make the green in the background a little richer. That looks pretty. And now I'm going to Select the mask again, do create a new mask and select the subject again. Now I'm gonna just keep it on the subject. I have this beautiful, smooth, darker emerald background. So I wanna make my foreground pop. So I will increase the sharpness on the bird a little bit. Don't overdo it. It's tempting. I do it every single time. And one trick I like with white birds is I lower the highlights so you can see the texture of the feathers. And then I just bump up the whites and it gets that brightness back. Do you see how everything just brightened up? And because I cooled off my background a little bit, I'm gonna just warm up the foreground a tiny bit for some color contrast and it pops. And I'm also gonna up the saturation of this little guy. He's so cute. And I wanna show off the colors of the feathers. And let me click Y and now you will see a before and after. I cannot believe the difference. That took a couple minutes and it's so much better. It's so much cleaner and sharper looking. Please check out our books and our presets, our videos. They will be for sale for the holidays. They make a great gift for you or someone else that loves photos. Okay, let me show you how to use these same tools to improve your landscape photos because I was blown away. I no longer have to drag things into Photoshop to make sure my sky is beautiful. So let me find one. Okay, here's a picture that I took in California and it looks really nice. This is heavily edited. So I have to go and I have to undo my edits. Let's see. Okay, this is the original photo. You might've thought it was like a throwaway photo. I deliberately underexposed it for the sky. So let me show you what I would do for this. Click on this mask thing again. And this time I'm going to select the sky. And you can see all of that is selected. And now I'll go into these ellipses, click on it, click invert again. And now the entire foreground is selected. It, the, the photo's not balanced, right? The sky is almost properly exposed. The foreground's way too dark. So I'm gonna bring up the exposure of the foreground so we can see some detail. And I'll bring up the whites a bit. Let's see. I wanna bring up the shadows, but not too much because then the colors start to get ugly. It starts to get too noisy. I'm gonna start with just that. I wanna create a new mask and select the sky again. And the sky was a huge part of the drama for me in this moment. And so I wanna make it more dramatic. I wanna make it the way that I remember it. I'll up the exposure some. I like to bump up the whites, bump down the highlights a little bit. And then I remember this being a beautiful, colorful, dramatic sunset. And so I wanna replicate that. I'm warming it up. I'm adding the tint more magenta. This is the way I remember it being in real life.
Now I'm going to create a new mask and I'll use a radial gradient. And I'm gonna put that over the sun flare. And increase the contrast, lower the highlights just a tiny bit. I'm going to create another mask and I'll select the brush. I like the line of this foamy water in the foreground, so I'm going to select all of this. And then increase the whites a bit and just make that more of a line in the photo. I'm going to create a new mask and add another brush, and then I'm gonna select some of the ocean. Just kind of doing this roughly. And one thing I like is that there's this warmth to the foreground, but the sky still is holding a bit of that teal. So I'm just going to accentuate that a tiny bit. I'm not gonna go overboard, it looks unnatural. I just wanna slightly tint it and just increase the saturation a tiny bit. And now I'm increasing the overall contrast. And you're probably dying right now because you see that I have all this dust on my sensor. Now my sensor gets covered when I take off my lens and so I don't really have this problem with my new camera. Pickle. Don't do that. Don't do that. And there you go, there's a before and after. It's like an incredible difference. And you can see with all of that automated selection, it makes things a lot faster. The slowest part of selection was when I had to use the brush and do the water and the foreground a little bit, but it's really fast and it, it'll increase your workflow. So if you have any questions, you can put them down in the comments down below. Please check out our books and our presets, our videos. They will be for sale for the holidays. They make a great gift for you or someone else that loves photos. Um, these presets can be used on Lightroom Mobile, mobile and in fact, these masks can also be used on Lightroom Mobile, which is amazing. So you can edit pictures on your phone way better now. The selection is so much better. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you soon.